He's one of the pillars of South African rugby. He made his test debut in 2007 and later that year was a part of the World Cup winning Springbok side. Yanni Duplessis, alongside his brother Bismarck, has been a mainstay in the Springboks and Sharks front row for the better part of a decade. And Yanni Duplessis! He's racked up 141 Super Rugby caps with the Cheetahs and Sharks, but one achievement still eludes him, a try. Yanni Duplessis joins us on Rugby HQ right now. <laughs> uh, always good to catch up with the biggest names in the game. Um, Yanni, 141 games without a try. Gee, that's a warm welcome, yeah. isn't it? Welcome to Australia. <laughs> well, 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 well. Uh, you see, it's, um, it's quite ironic because, I mean, you guys reminding me, uh, um, uh, because my little brother, who's actually in, um, in Western Australia now, um, he reminds me much more than you guys do. So, uh, every, every season he says, so, listen, are you going to score a try for me though this season? <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, I haven't. I haven't. Uh, it's, I'm still on the duck. So. Have you been close? Uh, I've been over twice, but they haven't given it. Uh, and um, the second time was in the quarterfinals last year against the Highlanders. And um, I actually wanted to phone the... The video ref and just tell him, um, listen, just for my sake, please just give this try. And, uh, but, uh, but he didn't. They so. never understand that. Uh, we will talk a bit of rugby in a moment, but it's well known. You're uh, a doctor, and at one stage you had the HIV uh, clinic in, in Durban or an HIV clinic in Durban. Are you still involved with yeah, that? I'm, I'm not involved in that anymore. Um, um, I, I gave it to people who can spend a bit more time than me there. Uh, but yes, I'm, I'm working there part time and um, I, uh, I go in. Um, some Wednesdays, and Thursdays, and Fridays, as as the week, as you've got more time, because I mean you can't train the day before the game, um, um, and you, we have a bit more off time, so I try to get there as, as much as I can. You're also a farmer, Yanni. Um, why why is it important to you to keep all of these different sort of balls up in the air? Uh, well, I, I, I don't know whether you do it because it's important for you. I just think, uh, um, I mean, rugby won't last forever. Unless you're a coach, you can coach for 50 years. Mm -hmm. uh, um, but um, I think for, I think it's it's good for perspective because I mean, um, like this season, things haven't gone as <clears throat> as well as we wanted, and you almost like lose perspective because you think uh, the sun won't come up the next mm -hmm. day, but it but it does. And and um, I mean, working in hospital, you you see people with real real problems, mm -hmm. um, so that um, that almost like grounds you again and and makes you realise that, OK, it, it is, you did lose and it, it is a big disappointment, but um, it's not the end of the world and if you work hard, you can get out of it, so... But you need, you need a circuit breaker too, don't you? I mean, do, do, do a lot of the players do extracurricular stuff off the field? Well, I, I think um, rugby's changing a little bit. Um, I think 10 years ago, many, many guys did it, but um, I think being uh, rugby being professional and um, people decide much earlier that they want to pursue a career in rugby mm. and um, and you've got to spend a lot of time preparing and and getting your body right i mean if you're young you you try to get condition and get stronger so um, but then those same players once they they hit a certain age they they realize or well, once they get married or they've got kids they realize that listen i mean this is not going to last forever and um, and then their, their focus almost changes and, and, yeah. and they, they sort of um, get, get the, the time back that, they, that they've lost when they were younger. Mm. Yeah, a tumultuous last sort of 12 months, I guess, with the Sharks, perhaps not travelling where you'd like to be travelling at the moment. Uh, what's it been like? Well, it, it would have been much better um, if uh, um, we uh, came, to, of, when, if we came to Australia and I came to Rugby HQ, with the sharks being unbeaten, but unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, the, the, uh, we're not. And um, um, I think um, seasons like this, you almost try harder than other seasons. I mean, we train harder, and and you, it's almost like uh, mm. uh, it becomes a, a massive thing. And um, and I think the the balance is just to like sort of go back to where you played good rugby yeah. and what you did then, and um, and try to to emulate that and. And I think if, if, if you start winning, uh, the confidence will come back and, and all of a sudden you'll, 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 be, you'll be in an upward trend again and instead of a, a little bit of a slump like we know. Mm. Traditionally in Sydney, you guys haven't had much luck uh, historically against the Waratahs, but in Durban last year, yeah, that was a tremendous result for the Sharks. What are you thinking about? Have you, have you talked about that, that game in, in Durban and last year and what worked uh, back then? 
actually, we haven't mentioned the game last year at all. I mean, I've played, um, I made my test debut here in, in, in Sydney and we, we led and lost. And um, after that, uh, in 2008, we led and lost. Um, 2012, I think, uh, we were here, we lost in the final, final minute of a game. Um, uh, so I think for any team to win in, uh, in Sydney is... It's an 80 minute performance and um, they're not going to give it to you on a plate. So I think the, the whole focus this week was to put in a good 80 minute performance and, uh, and not put ourselves in a position and then, then ultimately lose it because um, that, I mean, we've tasted that uh, many times before. The common denominator is Coogee, isn't it? Don't you always stay in Coogee uh, by the beach? Should you, should you head out <laughs> west, yeah. perhaps? Uh, Maybe base yourselves in Canberra? Uh, I didn't what say are you that saying? Cave, what are you <laughs> saying? <laughs> the camera is too cold. There's always a wind there, and uh, the kickers won't be able to kick. So uh, we prefer Kuji. Um, we'll try our luck from here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where, where, um, where, where in this season do you think? Um, you know, what are the what are the couple of the elements you think you've got to get right, particularly against the Waratahs? We know they're a very physical side. Do you talk about the physicality that you need to bring into a game against them? I think the the Waratahs um, uh, they've always had like good good parts of their game um, they always had good backs they always had good forwards but I think the big difference um, f from from um, before and last year up until now is like they almost like more of a, a the polished uh, product um, I remember a game that they played against the Hurricanes last year um, their season was also in the balance and the Hurricanes scored two tries and they just backed themselves and they scored four tries and played a great second half and and from there on, they kicked on and, and, and they, they sco scored tries from, from anywhere. And I mean, to win Super Rugby or to be su successful in Super Rugby, you've got to score tries. Um, it's, not a, it's not like that f uh, typical grind out test rugby. I mean, you, you've got to take calculated risks. And, um, and I think the Waratahs have that, that sort of balance. Uh, they, they got it quite right um, um, from, from that, from that t time um, last year. And, um, and ultimately, they went on to win it. I mean, uh, for the first time. Um, it's a position where, uh, which the Sharks have also been in mm. a number of times. I think we've played in, what, six finals, um, mm. all in all. Uh, I've played in two, but we've, we've lost both. So I think it's the challenge for, for us and I think for most teams who haven't won, won it is to sort of almost get that, that, um, that balance right. And I, I do think the, the Waratahs got it right. Uh, they, they've got a good forward back, but they always... They also they play enough. They give themselves enough opportunity to win, and um, I think that's why um, it's difficult to play against them. It's difficult to win against them. So um, you, we've got to have a good all-round performance if you want to have a chance. Mm. All right. Just before we let Yanni disappear, the questions that you want answered. This is our Fast Five. Fast Five brought to you by Han Superdry 3.5. So, Yanni, these are questions that are sent in on, on social media and, uh, and also via email and the website. Um, the first one from at Q Wine. What's the best scrum sledge that you've ever heard? So you, you've got your, your head in the scrum and then someone's let, let rip. What's the best thing you've ever heard? Um, uh, Bokis Puerta uh, played against um, a, a guy once and, um, and uh, he only played... Um, like he played 50 minutes and they took him off and after the scrum as he was walking off um, he asked the, the other guy asked him like um, are you scared are you walking off because you're scared and um, and he turned around and he said no no, no the coach the coach spares me against the weak teams <laughs> <laughs> very good very good next one from uh, from Jack Lumsden um, who's been your most interesting roommate on tour for South Africa or the Sharks um, I've uh, roomed with um, with many guys. I, I'm rooming with Willem Alberts at the moment, um, and he's he's quite interesting. Um, uh, uh, there's never never a dull moment, so he's he's really good at impersonating people. Um, so we, in South Africa, we've got a guy called Leon Schuster who like pulls pranks on people, yeah. and um, and I think uh, Leon Schuster's Willem's hero because he he does um, he does that all the time, and um, oh, it's quite enjoyable. Uh, at Adobe Reader, uh, tours can be hard and get boring. What do you still love about visiting Australia and New Zealand? I think uh, it's it's any, like anything that you do more than once. So um, at first, it's it's like a new adventure, and you you explore and you see new new things. I mean, the first time I got to Coogee, I I couldn't believe that um, uh, you have like a nice 
shore break uh, and and I swam every day and and then if you if you go there more times there's there's like things that become familiar that um, that you miss so uh, so I think you enjoy other things like a certain coffee shop or a, or a, like there's a Kuji Bay hotel where we have a, a oh, quiet yeah. beer. I've heard about uh, that. <laughs> yeah. 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 So uh, thank God you said hotel. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, at rugby lookalikes asks uh, who eat who eats the most out of your brothers who eats the most. That's a bit of a giveaway, um, isn't it? Well, it looks like I eat more, um, but I think we we quite um, we we quite um, neck Even. neck and neck. Yeah. I, I do think Beast Matorira eats more than mm. double of any of us. So, uh, <laughs> uh, he's, got a, he's got a quick metabolism. He packs in anything. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. Dream, right. dream of having a Something quick metabolism. He, he, he actually uh, um, he got banned from an Eat As Much You Can place because um, they, <laughs> I think they, they realised that um, if he finishes with a kilogram steak in 15 minutes, they're going to definitely not make yeah. money on it. <laughs> and, and the last one from uh, at Will McDougall. Uh, and this brings us full circle, really. Do the Sharks still make you do a nudie run when you finish the season trialers? Um, no, but if you lose table tennis uh, by 11 points, you've got to do a nude one um, in the hotel. So I think that's, that's probably the closest that right. we get to that. <laughs> Good stuff. Hey, Yanni, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, terrific to have you on board tonight and go well on Saturday night. Um, yes, I don't know whether you're sincere with that, but I definitely, <laughs> definitely hope we go we well. We, we really need to win. And... Uh, um, sort of to get our upward trend um, and um, hopefully we can take off from there.